can't eat me. So it's a taboo for the children of God to eat eagles. You can't eat eagle. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell anybody, I'm poisonous. I'm poisonous. Amen. Amen. So I'll choke you I'll if you try to eat me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So what happens is, go, go, go down to Deuteronomy 32, Deuteronomy 32, verse 11. Deuteronomy 32, verse 11 to help you get my point. <coughs> Deuteronomy 32, verse 11. Please read for me if you have it. Deuteronomy 32, verse 11. As an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, Spreadi spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. So the Lord alone led him. That's exactly what the eagles do. He said the same way the eagle hovers over its nest. She begins, the mother eagle begins to do things to, you know, to discomfort the young ones. Tell me about God is the one discomforting you. See, the devil is not the one disturbing you. The, the devil does not have your time. The devil, the devil likes it when you're in your comfort zone. God hates it when you're in your comfort zone for too long. Amen. Just that moment when you're about to rest, something new happens. Uh, I, I don't know if you understand. It. There's, there's that moment when you think you just solved one problem, a new problem comes up. And God is like, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. Amen, that's it. That's what I face every day. <laughs> you know, God is like, that's what I face every day. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, there are many calls coming from several parts of the world. Problems. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will do everything to discomfort you. You know, it's unfortunate that we, 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 we lived, or many of us come from a background where the devil was made to look too special and too superior. Everything was attributed to the devil, especially those of the um, early Christian faiths. Surprisingly, the Jews do not have as much faith or knowledge of the devil as, you know, church folks, modern day church folks, church folks do. There are many things which the Jews will tell you, it's not the devil, it's God. They know this. In fact, in the Old Testament, there are very few times the devil was made reference, of, reference to. Which they use anyway. But I think we overemphasize the devil. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this. There are some things happening in your life right now which is not the devil. And because you think it's the devil, you're not learning what you're supposed to be learning because God was all the while trying to speak to you about the need for a change. The need for a change. Tell me about I got to change. I got to change. I got to adapt. I got to become better. Amen. And so the mother eagle, she's going to discomfort them. She hovers over her nest. They, they, they get scared. And they, they move out with, because with her large wings, she can generate large, um, um, when I say, large air. Wings. She can stir up wind around them. So they get uncomfortable. Until something even stranger happens. One day, she's going to push them out from the nest. You know, I always tell folks, I say, you know, don't be too emotional. Don't, don't be too emotional. Don't be too emotional. Amen. Amen. You can't say because I love my child so much. My, my child is so nice. You're like, oh, baby, I'm going to miss you. You're like, just tell me at home all day. No, you got to send the child to school someday. It's going to be crying in your hand. Mama, mama. <laughs> you know. You need to harden your heart. You need to look away. Tell anybody you need to look away. If you like to cry, you can cry behind the child, you know, but you, you mustn't cry to, to prove that you love the child, amen. Because if you don't, that child is going to remain a cripple, a mentally cripple. Is socially crippled. You are gonna, his life or her life is going to revolve all around you. And when you are gone, the child will be of no good to himself. 
and if you're not careful one day when he sees he doesn't have you anymore he throw himself off from the from the window hallelujah so the mother ego she's hard one day she's going to push her egos from the mountain top tell me about push me say even egos <laughs> needs a push for the ego to rise to its destiny it needs a push all this while the mom took it out of the nest so it had enough space in fact sometimes there are some egos that fall off from their nest and fall to lower levels the mothers don't lift the, they can lift them they can they don't they but they never lift them back to their nest they never take them back in tell me but don't take him back in say don't take her back in she fell, let her stay there. Amen. They'll bring food to eat where it is. Because now the focus is, all of its strength is focused on its wings. It needs space to grow. Anybody need space? Say, give me space. It needs space to grow. It needs space to grow. It needs space to grow. And what happens? As... On one of those days, while its wings have begun to grow, the parents will push them. Male and female, most times, most ego families. Push them out. And there it goes. Turn it over, first flight. Phew. It's going. The mother ego watches. The father ego too. They watch what it's going to do. Turn it over, God is watching you. Say, God is watching you. They wait for it to open its wings. Tell about open your wings. Say, I got to open my wings. Say, I got to open my wings. You can't soar. In fact, you can't fly, not to talk about soaring, without open wings. It's not enough to have wings. You need the wings to be large. Then secondly, you need to open them up. Tell about open your wings. Open your wings. Not only your mouth, open your wings. Wings are modified hands they are evolved hands in some animals they are equivalent to the hands of men the same thing a hand can do the kind of favors hands can bring to you is what a wing can do for you God wants his people who are going to fly high in this life to have wings and not just wings but well developed ones that came from consistent use and practice. Hallelujah. And so all those training was to prepare it for this day. And any ego that doesn't open its wings eventually die. Or the parents leave them. So what the parents have most, 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 most parents' egos are going to do is once it's fallen, they leave it as though it's going to die. Then the father ego goes and picks it up in what you call a free fall. I'll come to that on a different teaching. It goes on a free fall and catches it, brings it up again. That's what it means to bear it up on wings. Tell anybody, God is bearing us up bearing on eagle's wings. Now please stay with me, I'll come back. Now watch this. What happened in Egypt? Did you read that verse, Deuteronomy 32? Deuteronomy 32? Is it there? No, Exodus. Go to Exodus. Exodus 19, Exodus 19. Exodus 19, verse 4. Exodus 19, verse 4. Exodus 19, verse Exodus 19, verse 4. Ooh. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my it's voice. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. He says, you have seen, praise the Lord, stay with me now. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians. Tell anybody the Egyptians. Egyptians. Say the Egyptians. He says, he says, he says, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and now I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you out. Israel, we are in Egypt for 400 years. Terrible comfort zone. They never wanted to leave. Hello? In fact, when Moses tried to deliver them, they said, who sent you? Who sent you? When Moses was going back 40 years after to go and deliver them, he told God, he said, God, they won't listen to these people. They won't listen to me. They are okay where they are. They have become comfortable. But you know what happened there? God made sure that they suffered. Tell me about the suffering. Sometimes it's from God. 
Now look at it. The same way, watch this, watch this. He's telling them now, I took you on eagle's wings. And he's saying, doing exactly the same thing that eagles do with these kids. So in Egypt, they were in a nest in Egypt. So what God did was make sure that place became uncomfortable. He made sure it began to smell and stink. He made sure that with time it began to destroy the nest. He said, you have seen what I did with Egypt, to the Egyptians. And then I pushed you out. Tell anybody, he pushed them out. And bore them on eagle's wings. That's what he said. Hallelujah. So how did they move from Egypt? He carried them as eagles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time God is about to take you to a higher, oh my God. Do you know where Israel, Israel is situated and where they moved to? They moved to a mountain. Tell anybody they moved to a mountain. You know what God says? If I the Israelites, a lot of people said about the Israelites that their God was the God of the mountain. When God spoke to Moses, he spoke to him on a mountain. Tell anybody on a mountain. God spoke to him on a mountain and God said to him, said to him, you will come back to worship me on this mountain. The mountain top is for us. The mountain top is for who? I don't know about you, it's for me. The mountain top of life is for me. That's where God is. That's where God is. And you know, how do I mount up? He said with wings like an eagle. So I got to develop my wings. Strong wings. You never develop strong wings easy. In fact, some eagles actually, in their childhood, the wings for some eagles break their wings because of the currents of wind. It's tough. Hallelujah. Is life tough for you? Has life been hard on you? Amen. Amen. It's not a bad thing. Tell anybody it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a training. Tell anybody it's a training. Say, I've been, God is training me. Say, everything I've been through was in preparation for where I'm going to. So I can soar. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. A time, you, you, if I, the life is like this. There is a phase in your life where you put in so much effort and so much energy. And sometimes you may see very li little results. And some of you are working and laboring now. You are battling and struggling. Life is tough. You can't explain what is happening. Let me tell you, a day is coming. You won't need to expend the same amount of energy. I'll show you. Let's go back. Go back to Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And as they mount up with wings, actually the word wings and the mount up there actually speaks of soaring. Tell me about soaring. So you have some translation, for example, the message translation which says, they shall soar. Now I want to explain what soaring is. What soaring is. There are different kinds of bed movements and flight, flight movements. All flight movements are not soaring. And not all beds soar. Hallelujah. Amen. Some beds just fly. Flying is not soaring. Tell me about flying. It's not soaring. Some beds glide. Gliding is a different form of bed movement. I'm coming out. I'll, I'll, if, if I have time, I can, I, can, I can shed a little light. But then there are those who soar. Amen. Tell me about eagles soar. Eagle soar. Say eagles soar. Eagle soar. How does an eagle soar? Let me finish the story. And so the mother eagle keeps repeating the process until the eagle gets it and is able to spread its wings. It carries the eagle on its back. The younger one drops him intentionally sometimes. You know, picks it up until the eagle learns to flap its wings. Tell anybody, you've got to flap your wings. So you've got to spread out your wings and flap them. Gather wind under it. Move it. Get used to how it works. Stay alive. Stay alive. 
Amen. I always say this, those who do not adapt and who do not change, they never get a chance. There are some of you, until you learn from what's been happening to you, again and again, and the same thing keeps happening, you will stay at the same spot or the same level. The things that are happening to you in life are for you to learn from them. Hallelujah. And so when the ego gets pushed out, if it wants to stay alive, it's got to learn. It's got to learn. What is this thing mom is trying to do? It's never been done before, but, you know, I got to stay alive. Do some of you are scared, fear. Let the fear help you to stay alive, whatever you are afraid of. Eh? Amen. The fear is not intended to kill you. It is intended to help you to change, to develop, to adapt, to become used to what is coming next. There's something coming next. Amen. Amen. Something even bigger. And what happens to the ego eventually? As it grows and it gets used to moving its wings, then real life starts. Because again and again, you live in the mountain where you need to eat from down. Amen. Amen. Tell anybody you need to find your food you in the valley, the valley, even though you live on the mountain. And that's a lot of work. Hallelujah. That's where swearing comes in. There is what we call unpowered and powered movements of birds. Powered movement is when you use your physical strength. Amen. When you use the muscles of the wings. Am I talking to somebody? When you actually spend ATP, it takes energy to fly. You know why some birds never fly so high? They get tired. So not all species have the same strength that the ego has. The ego, on the other hand, is very strong. It can do mighty things. We can do mighty things. We can do mighty things. But the kind of things the ego do should wear it out. But the ego doesn't get worn out. And the reason is what I'm about to tell you now. A point reaches where the ego still keeps moving, but not on its strength. Remember what I said. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall fly and not lose strength. Because their strength is being renewed. Why, how is my strength being renewed? This is where Swarin comes in. They mount up with wings. Now this is what happens. What happens? How do eagles soar? When an eagle flies, it reaches a point. It stops flapping its wings. Tell anybody, it stops flapping its wings. Ah, yeah. When it's down there, it could start out, if it's coming from the ground, it could start out by flapping its wings to get up. But once it reaches a level, it stops flapping its wings. You know what it does? It just spreads it open. Tell anybody, open your wings. And let the wind do the job. There are some of you, there are winds that are blowing towards you. And for lack of training, you thought the wind was against you. There are winds of words. There are winds of name callings. There are winds of rumors. There are winds that are blowing from within you, and there are winds blowing from outside of you. They were not intended to keep you down. They were intended to lift you up. Tell anybody they were intended to lift you up. <laughs> when the winds and the storms of life come against you, it is not so much the wind itself as how you respond. How are you responding when opposition comes to you? How are you responding? Remember the ego. Oh yeah. The ego doesn't see the wind as an enemy. It sees the wind as a friend. Are you with me? The ego doesn't see the wind as a problem. It sees the wind as what? As what? Your haters are not your problem. Am I talking to somebody? The man or the witch doctor from your village is not your problem. Amen. That your group mate is not your problem. Your sickness is not your problem. Your um, insecurities are not your problem. Your, um, 
whatever you say is not your, or, or, your incompleteness or your insufficiency, it's not your problem. That thing that you are so scared and afraid of that you think makes you not good enough, it's not your problem. It is your friend. That's the same thing that will take you far if you're wise enough on what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. And so what do egos do? What an ego does is it reaches a level, it opens its wings. There are three things that helps the ego, at least three things that helps the ego to soar. Now what is soaring? Soaring is movement and ascension without spending energy. Hello? Where you are Going higher, but you are not spending energy. Tell me, but I've spent enough energy already. In this February, I don't want to spend energy again. Say, so the energy I spent in January was for this uh, um, June. Amen. Did I say February? It's okay. Amen. The energy I spent so far is for this June. Hallelujah. Amen. The energies I spent was for this June. <laughs> the days you couldn't sleep. Sleepless nights, you are digging this thing, trying to understand, trying to work it out. A time is coming, somebody, and I announce to you. The day now is where you will not need to work it so much. It will be working for you. Amen. Amen. There are pains in your life where you put in so much energy, so much work. You are doing, you are doing, you are trying to make it work. A time comes, it enters automatic. Hallelujah. Amen. Automatic. No more energy spent. Tell anybody grow your wings. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, spread your wings. Say, spread your wings. Spread your wings. You know, that's what, that's what God is saying in that book, Exodus 19. He says, you saw what I did with the Egyptians. He said, and how I bore you on eagles' wings. And that's how I led you. Where a broke nation, a broke people, in one night, left as multi-millionaires in one night. Tell me about one night. It's, 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 it's enough to change my life. That's, you see, you see, you see. So, so what happened? They had been suffering for 400 years. They had been laboring. But one night, they entered into automatic. Tell me about automatic. automatic. You are putting in energies now. You are working, trying to get the channel work, to work. A time is coming, the channel will work by itself. Automatic. Tell me about automatic. automatic. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, automatic. You're trying to announce the business. You advertise. You say, you say, you say. A time is coming. You won't need to advertise. It will enter automatic. Am I talking to somebody in this church? He says, they will suddenly stop losing strength. Because they are not using their strength. So the ego, the reason the ego is famous and tough and strong and great is because it doesn't use its strength. As compared to other birds. It saves its energy to do what it needs to do. Then it will save your energy for the right reasons. So the ego just mostly soars. It just opens its wings and it soars and focuses. You know what it does? It's looking. I'll come to the site. Maybe next service, but I don't want to say too much. We'll just give you a little. The ego has one of the best eyesight. You know why? Again, because it's not spending its energies wrongly. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this one that he said. He said, of all the big birds, of all the, you know, um, Pray eating birds. Only the ego never looks back when it's hunting. Ah, you're not getting it. Crows, vultures, all the other animals, when they are about to go down to descend, as they get close to their prey, they have to look back because it's a. You see, when you're trying to kill an animal, another animal may be killing you because that's when you're weakest. So as you are going down to catch, you have to look back. Only the ego never looks back. Only the ego never looks back. That's why, you know, the ego is confident. Confidence. Confidence. 
There is no old chance touch the ego. It will carry you too. Hallelujah. No more fears. Tell anybody no more fears. Say no more fears. Hallelujah. The ego soar on these three things. One, heat. Tell anybody heat. They're what they call thermals. It is the product of convection current. You know, the, there, are, there are thermal columns that can develop based on heat from the earth. In those areas, the air pressure, the air difference, becomes an advantage for the ego. It helps the ego to naturally ascend. Tell me about no more struggles. That is why from when it was still small inside that net, it was exposed to dealing with heat. There are some of you, you are under heat right now. Things are hot for you. Things are hot for you. Not you, your family. You can't understand what is going on. Tell me about those, that heat is intended to help you to soar. How do you respond to heat? How do you respond to heat when it begins to get tough and tough? How do you respond to it? Do you run away from it? A lot of folks run away from problems. When things begin to get tough, begins to get hot, you're like, no, 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 no. This is not for me. No, it's for you. God will not give you what you cannot handle. Am I talking to somebody? God will not give you what you can handle. So what he goes do, he goes make friends with the heat. Tell me about heat. He's a friend to the ego. It helps it to soar. You know, people talking about you. People criticizing you. People trying to pull you down. Listen, their actions will help put you up. People try to make you uncomfortable and make things tough for you. Hard situations. Some things you never planned for. I never knew this would happen in my life. Look at my life right now. Why is this happening to me? Because you're destined for great things. I'm not going to somebody. Amen. The chicken doesn't understand this. The cat that lives in his master's crib, he doesn't understand this. It's enjoying AC inside there. Amen. A chicken that will be food for t- by tomorrow morning. It, it's enjoying itself. But not the ego. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two. The number two thing is wind. The wind. Tell me about wind. wind. That helps it to soar. Listen. What the ego does, and most birds do, is when they see a current coming like this, they open their wings. They open their wings. And the wind helps lift them up. It helps lift them up. They spend less energy. So they don't flap. They have, this, it is said that the ego has ligaments that it uses to lock its wings. It just opens it and it stays like that. So it's not the one doing the work. Just see it going. Just going. Tell me I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Say it's carrying me. Say it's carrying me somewhere. Say I know you think I'm the one doing this thing. But I have no hand in this. I'm on automatic. Hallelujah. Spends less energy. The days are coming, you have to spend less energy, somebody. Let me say this. Let me say this. What are wings? Quickly, because of time. Wings. You got to spread out. Tell anybody spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Deuteronomy 32 11 says, you know, and spread out our wings. The ego spreads out his wings. Start some new business. Tap your neighbor. Say, start a new business. business. Say, learn a new skill. skill. How do you have large wings? It's not enough to just have wings. You need large wings to soar in life. When one business fails, you can't start eating grass. Because you put all your hopes on one business. Tell them spread out. Spread out. Tell 
You need large wings. Wide wings. The men who are in this life, most of them, they are, they, have, they are in many places. There are some countries where Coca-Cola is banned today. If Coca-Cola was only in that country, they'll be broke now. Are you in this church or you've gone home? Some of you like you've gone home. It's okay. It's okay. Amen. Tell neighbor, spread out. Spread out. You need branches. You need branches. You need branches. You need branches in oil and gas. Amen. Don't be a local champion. Yeah, you need branches in oil and gas. You're making so nice, you know, your pies or something, whatever it is, you know, in, in medical hostel. You need branching oil and gas. Am I going to know somebody? Then you need in Ternopil. Then you need in Kiev. Then you need, you just keep going. So, who knows? Tell anybody who knows. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I need branches. That's how you spread your wings. Look at all the great men of scriptures. They knew how to spread their wings. Men who waited on the Lord. They knew how to spread their wings. You couldn't stop them. You couldn't stop them. If one evil came from one place, there was some other place that things were working for them. Tell your neighbor, I'm spreading out. I'm spreading, I'm spreading out. I'm spreading out. I, refuse to, I refuse to die just because one part of me isn't working. Spread out. That's how you spread your wings. This holiday, find a new craft to learn. A new skill to learn. Find something to do with your life. Don't put all your eggs in medicine or engineering. It's not wise. Am I talking to people? Every very wealthy person in this world have at least seven different investments. Seven different major investments that are bringing things to them. Tell anybody spread your wings. Spread your I want to see your investments. I see your investments. Amen. See investments. Make friends with different people. What did I say? Make friends with people. No man is an island. Amen. Amen. Don't be me, myself, and I. You are your only friend. Or there's only one person who is your friend. There's nobody to help you on the evil day. Life will be tough for you that way. Tell anybody, spread your wings. So you can soar. Because of time, we'll have to stop here. I have so much to say, but we can never finish it in one service, and we have a whole month. So it's fine. I'll say it again. Praise the Lord. I'd like us to be on our feet quickly. I hope you learned a thing or two. But just, an just an introduction. Praise the Lord. Just an introduction. Um, a quick one. As we go through the month, we'll shed more lights. We'll shed more lights. But it's time to spread your wings. Amen. Amen. It's time to what? Spread your wings. Develop different areas of your life. Amen. Amen. Who knows whether the country you are going to tomorrow, whether they may not want you. Who knows whether medicine will not work eventually. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Life keeps changing. Who knows whether petroleum will no longer be booming. It's hard to believe sometimes, people, but 
the people in the days of the agricultural revival or revolutions, people never thought that one day, even industrial revolution, some of those things will come to an end. 